to listen to the complexities and the other issues involved, but I'd like to encourage this gentleman, every time your neighborhood sees one of those trucks, please call the police department. Do that, uh, no sir, do that for a week. And if you don't get response, start calling us. <laughs> okay. Call us. Okay? You explain to me what law has been broken. Hey, sir, explain I've explained to me to what law has been broken. Well, right there, for example, the sidewalk is being blocked by two different trucks. Okay, and you don't think a delivery truck is going to come out here and spend some time, because they're a big truck, to unload their cargo in order to get into the They are not allowed to block the city sidewalk by the code. It's the law. Would you arrest somebody if you saw them putting graffiti on you the side ahead, of the Staples you building? You go ahead and go get yourself a badge and you come out here and you give them a ticket then. Take all the pictures you hey, want, it's going to do you no it good. Says no parking, it hand, says please. no parking. It says no parking. I'm down. pointing to a no parking sign. Down. No parking anytime. No parking anytime, sir. What does that mean? Well, like I said, you go get yourself a, a BLT certificate, come out here and give them a ticket. I'm not going to and nobody else is going to. I am so tired of doing this. And, I mean, it's like, I don't, I don't want to do, you know, but I don't want to get run over by the city, by a grocery store, by politically connected people, because my property is just as valuable as the guys across the street. And there's no sense transferring the value in my property to the grocery store across the street by allowing the law to be violated. And all I'm asking the city to do is to give me my property rights back which they illegally took two years ago when they didn't follow the laws that were on the books, which plainly state that you can't put a loading dock on a residential street, that you can't bring trucks up a residential street. In fact, you can't even bring trucks onto a residential street after you've brought them off the main highway. They've got to go to the loading dock and be contained on the property. The reason for that is, is to prevent situations like occurring, that are occurring on Maxwell Street from happening in the first place. That's the reason for the law, is so this situation doesn't exist. And I'm so tired of this.